still have very soupy conditions over the valley with that low cloud deck and the moisture from yesterday lingering. So we're still squeezing out a few raindrops even here and there. And yes, yeah, some fog as well. But that weather system from yesterday that brought all the rain to Southern California, especially San Diego, seeing nearly three inches of rain. And that's a lot of rain for an urban area to try to take on. So they just had standing water everywhere. Well, that's now pushing into Las Vegas and into Arizona. Now we get a dry break this afternoon with some sun peeking through, but the next weather system is out here in the Pacific. This one doesn't contain nearly as much moisture and it's just not as intense uh, as what we saw yesterday. So in the downtown Stockton area, we're not seeing too much fog here, but we've seen that mist, that drizzle and fog in parts of Sacramento. We're at 55 degrees, 54 in Stockton, 53 right now in Modesto. And we're at 26 degrees with partly cloudy skies at Lake Tahoe. So the visible satellite, or I should say infrared satellite here, does show that cloud deck just kind of hanging over the valley and on the fringes of it. We get the fog in the foothills and parts of the delta this morning. So that's just going to linger over us during the morning time today. You can see that with Futurecast. This is 1030 this morning. We still have some of that low cloudiness uh, over us. Then we get into midday in the afternoon. We'll probably see more peaks of sun in the valley. It'll be partly to mostly cloudy, likely in the foothills as those clouds linger. We get into tonight. The clouds thicken once again. Notice there's rain up to the north at this time around 10 midnight or so. It's not raining yet, but in the overnight, the rain develops and this system or excuse me, this uh, model with future cast might be a little ahead of schedule, but do plan on. We might have some wet roadways for the morning time tomorrow in the commute. We'll probably have some snow beginning to develop in the morning time tomorrow and then we get into the afternoon and evening we start to see the rain showers taper and the snow intensity taper as well. So how much rain are we talking with the system? Probably a manageable third of an inch or so around Sacramento it could be a little bit more up towards Yuba City, about a half inch in parts of the foothills, maybe even a little less down towards the San Joaquin Valley. But you get the idea, not an inch or two of rain, which is what we saw yesterday in some locations and the snow also in that three to six inch range for the most part, about three inches of snow coming to Echo Summit with that snow level around five to six thousand feet. So it might take a while for these low clouds in Sacramento, especially to budge and give way to partly cloudy skies. We'll eventually see more sun in Stockton and Modesto as well. High temperatures in the San Joaquin Valley, upper 50s to low 60s. If you're up at Tahoe today, boy, it's a beautiful day ahead. Brighter skies here with temperatures near 40 and we'll see that mix of clouds and sun in Auburn and then Fairfield in the Delta. Also that mixture of clouds and sun and potentially we get into the lower 60s here in Fairfield. Here's the seven day forecast. Tomorrow is an impact day just because we'll have that off and on rain through most of the morning and midday, especially it tapers going into Thursday. Thursday looks like a great day. Clouds at least going into the weekend. We'll have to see if we had a raindrop or two, but no big storms at all to talk of going into the week.